You can't do that on television, will not be seen today, in order that we may get your priorities straight. Now turn off that television and go and do something constructive. Lou, what's the most important thing to you? Well, I guess it's my health. The more eating burst food. <laughs> I have heard that. What? two kids in here. Nobody did. We let ourselves in. Wait a minute. What are you doing here? Ross, come on. What's the matter? You don't recognize us or something? It's me, Christine, the old thorn in your side. <laughs> I know who you are. How could I forget? Little Dougie Wuggy and Lisa Weesey and Mikey Wikey and uh, Fluke. And <laughs> little Christine. I see your little faces every night in my dreams. Aww. And then I wake up screaming. I'll ask you once more. What are you doing here? Uh, television show, Ross. You know, you can't do that on television. Yeah. Wrong. The program has been canceled. Canceled? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's uh, because of the game, for which I have tickets oh. to. Yeah. What game? Well, it's a matter of priorities. I mean, I could spend the afternoon with you clowns, or I could go out and enjoy myself at the game. Could we have tickets? Yes. Oh, please, 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 please,
Then I went outside for a game of baseball where I subtracted my batting average from my earned run average, multiplied the whole thing by five stolen bases, and divided my attention between two girls. Dog, it says that the first thing you do in the morning shows a lot about your character. What kind of things? Well, if you go outside and smell the flowers, or you make your bed, or you brush your teeth. So different things about your personality. Really? Oh, yeah. What's the first thing you do in the morning? Wake up. I mean after that. Oh, I go back to sleep. Come on, you guys. Ross. Oh, I don't believe it. Ross. Oh, I'm so... What, Christine? What comes next in the show? Oh, who cares? Listen, I got tickets to this game. I could have been there. Ross, would you get your priorities straight? You can't floor direct the show and watch a stupid ball game at the same time. You know, you're right. Mm. Mm. Oh, I am, Lisa. Well, why? Well, I just spent four hours stuffing the turkey. Four hours? It must have been a really big turkey. Well, no, dear, not really. He just wouldn't stand still. Go, 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 go. Mom, you're supposed to kill it first? Oh, well, I know that, dear, but go, I go, couldn't. Go, go. I mean, the poor thing. He <laughs> looks just like your father. Go, 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 go. Yeah, you know, he, he kind of does. Especially from the back. Ah, Lisa, don't encourage your mother. What was that, dear? Boy, dear, how about that? A cat with wings. Oh, What's Bert doing back here? Oh, it's a top priority in his restaurant running business. He must be taking out the garbage. No, Doug, actually, he's taking in the garbage. Why? You see, every day, Bart takes the big chunks out of the garbage and puts them in the lunch specials. Do you come here a lot? Oh, yeah, I'm pretty well a regular here now. Why? Well, I was just wondering how you can tell what to order here. Everything looks like exactly the same slop to me. Well, it, it gets easier after a while, but it's pretty important to know what you've ordered so you know you're being served the right meal. What's the difference? Well, it, it's very subtle. The things with the bluish tinge is usually the turkey surprise. And the things with sort of a yellowish tinge is usually the luncheon special. And the things with sort of the greenish tinge are the customers that have just eaten and they have to pay their bill. <laughs> uh, I heard that. Oh, I ordered the turkey surprise. Oh, boy. Dougie, what do we got? Mashed potatoes, yeah. Southern fried chicken. Oh, and peas, peas. I love peas, Dougie. Pass me the honey, please. Honey? Mm -hmm. What's yeah. the honey for? Uh, for my peas. But, Dad, mm -hmm. honey and peas don't sound too good together. Actually, you know, Dougie, they're terrible. But how else am I going to get the peas to stay on the knife? Mmm. <laughs> Want some? how to play this game, because if you get anything oh. in the wrong order, it really screws up. Okay. okay, do you want to put your quarter in? Sure. Uh, two more quarters? Two more. Yeah, yeah. Hang on. Okay. Okay, pop them in. Okay, now the person we have to select is choose players. Okay, uh, now we have to select combat type. Um, tandem? Tandem. Tandem, tandem. tandem is always my Now, favorite. ready? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Uh, shields? You want to play with shields? Sure. Yeah. Shields. Okay. Um, hey, let's, let's go. Let's go. No, no, not yet. Um, bounce or, or no bounce? Yeah. Bounce. Go for bounce. This is always the best one. Hey, do you want hyperspace or sublight speed? I would advise hyperspace. I, I think it's the best. Hyperspace? Okay. Now. No, just a sec. Um, oh, okay. I think I've got everything okay. in the right order. We can go. Yeah, no. I'll, I'll do it. Hmm. Um, I think I, I must have got something out of order. Oh, no, I don't think you did. I think the machine did. What do you mean? Well, look, right down there. It says machine out of order. Hey, if you've got three more quarters, I'll teach you how to play that one. Hey, Ross, can I watch the game with you? 
They were just tied at the bottom of the seventh with bases loaded. I know. Moose, there are much more important things for us to do than to watch some dumb ball game. Your show is very important. Your audience needs you. Do you think so? Hmm. Oh, Ross, I never knew you felt that way. Well, okay, what's next? Opposite skits. Oh. Go ahead, introduce them. I think we just did. Oh, no, Mom, please, no. No, you stop complaining, young man. If I ever catch you in the library again studying French verbs, for heaven's sakes, instead of being in this beautiful video arcade playing video games, well, Dougie, you are going to be in very big trouble, young man. Now, you take that quarter and put it in the slot. Come on, come on. That's right. Now, take the handle. That's right. And play it back and forth. That's it. That's it. That's it, Dougie. Go, go. Well, I thought we'd start with ice cream tonight. And then, if anybody has room left over, and you really want to, we can have greens as well. <laughs> Here we go. There you are, Lisa. Now, everybody eat up. Come on. Come on. Come on, Dougie. Lisa, you have got to learn to eat things that are unpleasant. It's disgusting. I'm sorry, Lisa. You're going to have to learn. Open your mouth. Mm. Open your mouth. Lisa, Lisa, I'm going to make you very sorry you didn't open your mouth. And... Now, when you're writing the exam, you must organize your time properly. No more than 20 minutes doodling on the paper. 10 minutes tops for chewing on your pencil and no more than half an hour counting the cracks in the ceiling. And with the time that's left, you make paper airplanes. Hey, Mom, let me help you back. Ah! It's finally happened! Oh, no! Oh, oh. Mom, you haven't gone mad, and you're not imagining... This is just an opposite sketch. Oh, of course, I wouldn't really offer to clean the room. Oh, what a relief. Wait a minute. Clean? I'll tell you what, Mike. I'll take you up on the offer. You can go right ahead and help clean the room. Ah, uh, but, Mom, this is only supposed to be an opposite sketch. Too late. <laughs> you know, a lot of parents expect their kids to have all their priorities in life mapped out by the time they're ten years old. And they don't seem to realize that... <laughs> the show's not supposed to be over yet. Uh, do you want to stay right there? Ross, why are the credits rolling? Our program is finito. Over. Don't we always have credits running at the end of the show? Yes, but it's not quite time yet. Yes, it is, Christine. If we wrap this up right now, I'll still have time to get to the game. You kids have been talking priorities over and over and over again, and finally it registered right there. I want... I, my priority is to have fun and enjoy life. Ross... Well, you look at the TV. The game has obviously been called on account of severe flooding. I mean, wouldn't you rather be in here where it's dry rather than outside where it's soaking wet? <laughs> on second thought, maybe it's wetter in here. <laughs> Fall into it every time. <laughs> Wait a minute here, kids. Your mother and I are going to get... Divorce? Oh, yeah! yeah what divorce. Divorce. No, no, no. No, your father and I have decided we're going to get, get married. Married? <laughs> married? <laughs> Who to? Uh, well, um, to each other. <laughs> But aren't you supposed to get married before you have kids? Oh, well, for heaven's sakes, Dougie. If people got married before they had kids, where would they get the page boys and the bridesmaids from for the wedding? Oh, you're just going to look so wonderful in those little satin suits. And wait till you see your dress, Lisa. It's gorgeous. I'll teach you to escape from jail. Ready? Aim. Oh, but sir, you don't have to. I already know how. You do? Yep. Oh, 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 sorry.
sorry, Moose. Lisa, I've told you a million times, don't call me Moose. I hate it. Oh, sorry. Uh, Moose, what are the four most important things to sustain life? Hmm. Well, the air we breathe. Yeah. Um, shelter. Shelter. Love. love. <laughs> food. Food. Um, and drink, I guess. Uh, when you say food and drink, do you mean bread and... Well, yeah, bread and liquid refreshment, right, Lisa? And no, Christine, you're supposed to say bread and water. <laughs> yeah, but one of the top priorities in my life these days is staying as dry as possible. Mm -hmm. So I just don't say... Remember you said love. Yeah. Love. love. You can't do that on television. We'll return after these messages. By day, Nickelodeon is mild-mannered and cute. And we'll go on together. Just right for the little guys. I think I smashed my cookies. But in the afternoon, watch out. It's starting again. We turn oh. animal. Nickelodeon, the action is hard, fast, and just for kids. It came from the ends of the earth and carries the seeds of everyone's destruction. It's the power no one can overcome. Do you dare take the challenge and journey into the labyrinth? In the sixth turn of the labyrinth, now Bellor has the upper hand. Can the kids find the Nidus before it's too late? Watch today's episode of Into the Labyrinth at 4.30 Eastern, 1.30 Pacific. And again at 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific. Only on Nickelodeon. It's, it's, it's Danger Mouse. Fearless fighter, crusader for freedom. The world's greatest secret agent. The world's greatest everything. Beginning this June, watch The Adventures of Danger Mouse. With his nervous but trusted companion, Penfold, he battles the revolting Baron Greenback and his evil schemes to control the world. Danger Mouth! Catch him weekdays at 4.30 Eastern, 3.30 Central, and again at 7.30 Eastern, 6.30 Central. Now back to You Can't Do That on Television. Burger, your uh, French fries, and your um, coleslaw, and your rice pudding. Oh, yuck! Mike, don't you know you are what you eat? Look okay. here. Well, yeah, and if you eat that, you'll be dead. I heard that. When we put these shows together, one of the first things we do is we go out on the street all over the country to get your views on the show topic. That's because we think it's really important to find out your views on whatever the show might be about. Because you are the viewer and it's important to get your Hold views. Hold it. Hold it. Nobody's going to believe that garbage. We know why you go out and around and all over the country so you can travel on the company's money. And eat on the company's money. And meet boys on the company's money. Well, they stay back here and slave away for peanuts. Right on. Right on. Yeah. Well, at least I've got my priorities straight. My priorities are money and entertainment. My priorities in life now are getting through school and learn, taking a lot out of it and then going on and finding a good career that I can make a lot of money in. I don't know what a priority <laughs> is. Oh, okay. My priority is to meet Michael Jackson. My priorities are to finish, through, to get through school, to start a career. Well, getting good grades in school and doing my work right and doing my chores and everything. Oh, Christine? Yeah, Mike? Christine, the first thing my mother makes me do after school is her homework. Don't you mean she makes you do your homework? No, her homework. Vacuuming, ironing, dusting, cleaning. Yeah, I get it. Luke? Yes, Lisa? Mike, I got a problem. I just can't get to sleep these days. Okay, what's the problem? Well, uh, it beats me. I don't know what to do about it. Well, I have an idea. Why don't you talk to yourself? I mean, it puts everyone else to sleep. <laughs> Oh, oh, shut up, Moose. Uh, Moose? Yeah, Doc? Moose says the captain must always go down with the ship. Probably the second in command. Mm -hmm. Speaking about ships, oh, Luke. Yes, Mike? 
Luke, why is it when a ship is sinking, they always put the women and children in the lifeboats first? Well, you see, Mike, when they're evacuating the ship, the men put the women and children in the lifeboats first so that they'll have something soft to land on when they jump off the decks. Yes, it is sexist, too. It is not. From what I understand, any sex of children can get in the boat first. <laughs> yes, Lisa? What's your number one priority in life? To grow up. Oh, well, then you have to eat a lot of food. No, Lisa, I've seen you eat a lot of food. My number one priority is to grow up, not grow up. <laughs> Another good one from Dougie. Luce, don't be virgin, please. <laughs> Here you go, Lisa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mom, that's not fair. You love Lisa the most. That's not true, Dougie. I love Alistair the most. Then, Lisa, what? Well, you come a distant seven. Mom, there's only four kids in our family. Well, that's right, Dougie, but I love the neighbor's kids more than you. The neighbors only have two kids. That's right, and I also love their cat. He's there. Fire! Fire! What? Wait a minute, where do you think you're going? Get out of here, Bart, there's a fire! Nobody yeah. leaves till you pay. But we didn't even touch our I don't care. Nobody's leaving this place until you pay for what you ate oh, or what you didn't eat. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on, Christine. Lay it on. Boy, that's the third time today I've used the same food. Sure saves on washing dishes. Mom, I think you love your new stove a bit more than you love me. Not a bit, Dougie. A lot. And don't you forget it. Gee, Mom. Don't touch the stove! Oh. Oh. Don't worry. The big bad kid scared you, didn't he? I know. There, there. You know, Christine, I sit around all day long, almost every day. <laughs> it's no wonder your hips are so I sort of... I sit around because they make me. Lisa, you should be outside enjoying life. That's what I said to them. But no, my parents said that I had to go to school and learn stuff. Actually, mine did too. Lucy, no wonder your hips are... Watch it, Ruddy. You just do... watch it. You do have hips, don't you? You, you know, I noticed you just go straight. Like, I mean... <laughs> Mom, I think you love the Wilsons kids more than you love me. Well, that's ridiculous, Dougie. Whatever gave you that idea? I'm sorry, Mom. I guess I was wrong. I don't know what made me think that. I don't love you at all. And I don't know where such a nasty rumor started. You know, Christine, I think it's really important. Of course, it's a top priority of mine to keep in shape. It helps me feel better and improve my appearance and gets me in shape. Lisa, I think you're doing really well. You know, I think you'll be in the shape you want in no time. Really? Oh, yeah. That is if the shape you want is round, ah! rotund, pear shape maybe, you know, kind of kind of real small on top and then and with the, but then again, cucumbers are nice. And and oh eggplant. Ever eggplant. Seen it? An eggplant, you know how eggplants kind of skinny and then they go. Dougie, my boy. What are the most important things in your life? Wine, woman, and song. Aren't you just a little bit too young for wine, women, and song? Oh, don't be stupid, Miss. Whining gets me what I want. The woman and my mother and my sister. And I just love listening to my pet parakeet sing. Dougie, I think you've discovered the secret of life. Yeah. <laughs> Bert, you don't know anything about the restaurant business. Oh, yeah, how come? Well, in any good restaurant, the soup is always the first item on the menu. You don't even have soup on your menu. I don't? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I do now. Well, that's it, Ross. The show's yeah. over. You can go ahead to the ball game. Oh, hey, would you mind if I joined you? I'd really like it sitting in the sun all afternoon watching those hockey ball players. Forget it, Moose. You won't get in. Why not? The game has been sold out. Hmm. Sell out. Oh, I could sell you my tickets. But, Ross. You've been complaining for the last half hour that you wanted to go to that stupid ball game, and now that you can go, you want to sell me your tickets? For a price. Why? Well, you see, Christine, this show on priorities has really made an impact on my mind, and I got to thinking, that's it. Money. Tops. 
on my list of priorities. How much? Hundred bucks. A hundred bucks for two measly baseball tickets? That's only fifty apiece. Come on, Christine. Look, have you got me? Uh, uh, what do they call it? Yeah. Master charge or visa? But... You can't do that on television. Has been a bottom of the heap production. There are millions and millions and millions of things to do out there. There is a great, big, wide, wonderful, beautiful world out there full of excitement and fun and life. And millions and millions of people just spend a half hour watching our show. It kind of makes you wonder where people's priorities are. Yeah. Actually, you know, Lisa, you've got a good point there. But what makes me wonder about priorities is that we just spent a half hour making this stupid TV show when we could have been out there enjoying that great, big, wide, wonderful world. Yeah! I mean, I think we should get our priorities straight and we should just go out and enjoy it. Right on. Let's go. You got yeah. it.